Let's look at how we'd analyze a budgeted cash flow statement. And basically, it's the same way we analyze a regular cash flow statement. All we're doing is remembering that this is a budget and it's just a prediction about the future. So, for example, looking at the cash flow statement we've been given there, some questions we might have is in the future, so the 30th of June, what do we expect the cash position to be? Are there any areas of concern we might have? We are planning on buying a new computer for $7,000 in July. Is that possible? And if it is, how are we going to pay for it? And are there any decisions we need to make for the future? So looking at the important info there, um, we can start to answer some of these questions. Although they're guesses, it is useful info because we can now start trying to plan for the future. So for example, how much cash do we think we'll have at the end of this budget? I think they're based on this data we'll actually end up in overdraft of $1,600. So basically we do have $1,000 in the bank now, but we think we'll lose $2,600 during that budget and we'll end up with an overdraft. So we can look at that and go, we are expected to be in a poor cash position in three months time. What about another question? Are there any areas of concern? Well, there's a lot of things we could talk about. Let's look at operating activities, which on their own, are good, they're positive, 6,400, but when we look at them compared to some of the other figures, they're just not big enough. You can't expect to buy a vehicle here for 10,000 if you can't pay for it from your operating. And we can see they've had to borrow some money there. So or they plan to, these are all in the future. So looking at that, we expect a high level of payments to creditors during the same month when we're gonna need a loan and we're still going to make some drawings. So those drawings seem really out of place given that we're expecting that we'll have to borrow money. Why would we then still take drawings? We can start to make a decision here and go cut back on the drawings and we'll have to borrow less money. Maybe with the payments to creditors, we could actually say, um, ask our creditors for an extension because at the moment for every dollar that we're getting from selling cash, we're actually going to be paying that straight out the door to creditors and that means we're either not selling enough stock uh, that's uh, what we buy from creditors or we've just got too much of it we can maybe cut back perhaps but these are all areas of concern that we can look at with the budget we are expecting to buy a new computer in July is this possible well not based on that info um, looking at what we've got the cash flows from operating won't generate enough money so that's actually in a whole month we don't think we'll make enough money to buy one computer. Um, so therefore, if the operating activities aren't generating enough, um, that's we still want to buy a vehicle of $10,000. Well, what do we need more, the car or the uh, computer? We can start to prioritize this. Maybe we just don't get the car and we just get the computer instead. Looking at the financing section, um, maybe yeah, we need to either take out a bigger loan or maybe the owner makes needs to make another capital contribution, perhaps cut back on drawings. Or one section we didn't look at was maybe we can just sell another current asset, non-current asset. So maybe there's another car we have that we can get rid of, for example. What decisions need to be considered? So this is the whole point of budgeting. We've got this document which says this is how we think we'll be in three months. I think there'll be a bank overdraft, so we can start to make decisions like, maybe I contribute more capital, maybe I go and get more of a loan, a bigger loan than $4,000 from the bank, maybe defer any asset purchases like the car or the computer, put them off until later in the year, maybe defer any payments to creditors, ask the creditors, um, can we get an extension until we've been able to sell more of your stock? Uh, and maybe we need to extend the firm's overdraft, go to the bank and say, we've got money in the bank now, we have $1,000, but maybe we'd actually, um, we think we're going to have an overdraft in three months, so can we organise that now? Uh, looking at some examples where um, these are actually businesses in the real world, obviously, we've got net cash flows from Qantas, so we can sort of derive some meaning from these figures. So looking at operating activities, we've got net uh, positive inflows of over a billion dollars every year, and that's very healthy. That's um, excellent. Qantas has made a lot of money and uh, from providing flights and paying all the associated costs and expenses. Um, but then we look at the investing section and we can see that's a really big um, outflows. And when we think about it, if that's buying and, and selling non-current assets, well, that would represent buying all the planes. 
Obviously, planes are very expensive, and you can see in every year they're actually not generating enough from operating to pay from investing. So we need to, and we can see that they've had to borrow money every year except for one. They've actually had to borrow quite a bit of money in order to sort of make ends meet. Their operating activities just haven't generated enough. Now looking at an example we did in Unit 3, which was ABC Learning. From operating activities, they made net cash inflows, which is good. And in that last year, it was uh, $207 million. But they were spending a lot on non-current assets, so their investing activity outflows were huge. And the only way you can survive is by borrowing money. So that was a situation where we looked at they actually went bankrupt within 12 months of that last graph. And uh, yeah, that's a situation where we can start to maybe make some decisions earlier on. Uh, maybe we got to 2006 and said, well, perhaps next year we're not going to be able to generate enough money from operating. Maybe we could defer buying some of these childcare centers and perhaps we would have had to have borrowed less money.